our salute to the year's best films, the number five movie on my list is Mulholland Drive by David Lynch. I haven't been a fan of many of his films, but this one fascinated me from beginning to end. It takes place in a Hollywood that is part Tinseltown, part film noir, and all dream. This is your purse. Your name must be in your purse. And stars Laura Elena Herring and Naomi Watts oh, no, as two you. women, or are they really just one woman, yes. involved in a murder mystery, or is it a murder, or is it a mystery? Even if you can't figure out a single thing, the film is compulsively watchable with its images of eroticism, mystery, Nancy Drew style adventure, bizarre auditions, and creepy theatrical performances. I kill you. Are those two heroines real or a figment of the imagination of a third person? Are they aspects of the same personality? Mulholland Drive leads us into a mesmerizing labyrinth and afterwards, it teases us with possible interpretations. Well, I've got it at number three on my list, so I obviously loved it. And I recently went back and watched it again after reading, you know, and I don't always like to do this, read all these analyses on the internet and people having different theories. Yeah. But this time, I have to say, it really enriched my experience, and I enjoyed it even more the second time, even thinking about the various theories. You know, the TV critic from the LA Times attacked the nation's film critics for liking this film. <laughs> and said it made no sense at all, it was just a TV pilot that was cobbled together, and we all fell for it, and the emperor has no clothes. Actually, ah. I'm telling you, I have given thumbs down to one David Lynch movie yeah, after another, and as hard. I watched this film, mm -hmm. I was completely fascinated by it, and drawn into it, and entertained by it, and absorbed by it from beginning to end. I don't care what its source was, whether it was made for TV, or whether it was made for David Lynch's home movies, is. it works. Okay.